now is Troy Watson taking him down. So first and 10 for the Buccaneers. Lebanon could not take advantage of that great play by Kyle Zachary as we kept the football after the score, but Beach and their defense stiffens and the Buccaneers will take over the football on downs. First and 10 for Beach, 435 remaining in the first half. As Harris will bring his team to the line, Davis the fullback, Corlew back there with him. Sadler in motion, they will give it to the second man through. Corlew over the 40, down to the 43. As seven yards on that carry. We'll bring up second down and three for the Buccaneers. And, John, it looks like on the sideline, Randall Hutto's telling his defense to wrap him up. He, he doesn't look like he's happy with the tackling that we're putting forward. We've missed a lot of tackles, Tommy. Had two or three hits on him and then let him go, not wrapping it up. That's why Beach is driving the ball. Second and three. Harris turns. Corlew off the left side. Another hole. First down. Spinning and to the 49-yard line of Lebanon as... Griffin holds on to him. Lahue with a shot as well, but Terry, another first down for the Buccaneers. Sam, that's their sixth first down of the first half. Corlew with eight more yards, another first down. Corlew, seven carries for 35. Sadler, seven carries for 46 tonight for Beach. First and 10, Harris will give it to Sadler. Runs over his own blocker and then C and Griffin give him a shot about a yard past the line of scrimmage as Tommy, he had some more yardage if he hadn't have run into the back of J.J. Langford. Well, he kind of ran over his blocker as he was trying to get around the corner. That gave Lebanon's defense just enough time to catch up. And uh, we, John was right, we're getting people to the running backs. We've just got to do a better job of tackling, wrapping those guys up. Shaw and Mulligan split to the left side. In motion is Corlew, runs the option to him. The pitch bounces it outside. Griffin chasing him, hit in on the tackle as well as the ball makes the 42-yard line. That will bring up third down and a long three for Beach. And this game really moving along. Neither football team has attempted a pass thus far as we're inside the two-minute and 40-second mark. Tressler into the ball game as Lahue goes out. Third down and three. Five men up for the Blue Devils. Turns, gives it to the first man through. That's the fullback as Davis gets the 36-yard line. First and 10, 225 remaining in the first half. As Tommy, the Buccaneers looking to put some more points on the board before the end of the first half. And they are just grinding it out up the middle. Jason Morris comes out of the football game. Luke Shepard goes in at a linebacker spot for Lebanon. So we've got Shepard and Griffin as the two linebackers. Shaw to the left side. It is straight drop. Pass is complete to Shaw. It is to the 26-yard line. That is good enough for a first down for the Buccaneers. 2:03 remaining here in the first half. Tommy, the Buccaneers don't pass a lot, but Harris has a 64% completion rate coming into this ball game. 619 yards passing coming in, six touchdowns, six interceptions, and when they do throw, generally they're pretty effective. First and 10, straight drop, a handoff fumble, ball on the ground, that is going to be recovered by the Blue Devils. A flag is thrown at the 20-yard line on the far side of the field as Tommy the Buccaneers tried to run a trick play as Davis waited on the drop and they put the ball in his back it is a block in the back holding on the Blue Devils. As that will negate the fumble recovery. They tried to wrap around draw. The quarterback drops and slips it to the fullback as he, as he runs past him. And apparently the penalty took place before the change of possession. So the penalty I guess Terry has precedence. That's the only thing they could call. I'm not sure, Tommy. I'm just going to wait and see what they do. I'm, I'm not sure if they know what they're doing. Well, the defense is still on the field for the Blue Devils. They will mark it as 
That's a good question. John, what, what's the interpretation that Bob Dillard's getting? Said that the penalty happened before the fumble, and uh, his answer was, how do you know that? So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. First and 10 for Beach inside the Blue Devil 15-yard line, a minute 37 remaining in the first half. Give to the fullback, goes nowhere as Morse gets him at the feet. And coming up to finish off Davis was Ryan Alds. Beach is going to take a timeout to try to get things squared away. A minute 27 to go in the first half. The score is tied. 6-6. We'll be back after this timeout. Hello, I'm Kim Coots, a senior varsity football cheerleader at Levin High School. We're here at Toshiba with Miss Joyce Mitchell. We'd like to thank you for your support and present to you these Blue Devil souvenirs. Toshiba is proud to support the Lebanon High School athletic programs. Go Devils! All right. Go! And they may have been hitting the receiver. And we're back as we're discussing the penalty. Uh, illegal contact is what the officials have called, which is hitting a receiver past five yards of course, from the a, line of scrimmage, which is... That's, that's not a high school rule. Well... <laughs> of course, you can hit them all the way down the field until the football's in the air well, in high school. <laughs> this is true, too, but I've also seen in the grass in college football called, too. So uh, <laughs> don't think well, that they, these guys may not be looking towards Sunday. They've had some time to to think about a call and, and to make something up <laughs> for the past few minutes. So that may be what they've done. Oh. Second down and 10, a minute 27 remaining in the first half. Single back behind Harris. Now Corlew in motion. They're gonna run the option, pitch it to Corlew. Griffin chasing him, takes him down at the 11 yard line and that'll bring up third down and a long five for the Buccaneers. And that's the speed of that linebacker, Joel Griffin, as he catches the back before he can get the corner turned, and sheer speed of Joel Griffin made that play possible. Third down, a long six for the Buccaneers. Shaw and Mulliken split to the right side, single back behind Harris. He will fake it to the fullback, pumps to the end zone to Shaw, penalty flag down. It's a touchdown as they rule it, but wait a minute as the yellow flag on the field as the official calls illegal participation. It was either illegal participation or illegal man downfield. Not really sure what it is, Tommy, but what it means is no Buccaneer touchdown. The official on the near side immediately came out with a flag as soon as, as the play was developing. So let's see what we've got as Gary Eakes talks it over with Corky Cross, the official on that side. And they're trying to determine loss of down. I don't think that's loss of down anymore. Offensive pass interference. It is loss of down. Loss of down. And so, that will back it up 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. John, was that a pick play that uh, Beach was running? Um, what we thought over here was uh, the offensive tackle was downfield. Now, if that's... Uh, I thought that was an in ineligible uh, receiver, but uh, they're, they're going to now call it an, a uh, pick. So uh, the old pick play in basketball brought to life here on the football field. Kaufman will attempt the field goal for Beach High School. And it will be, Tommy, 41, almost 42 yards. 53 seconds remain in the first half. Blue Devils looking to block it. Ball down, kick is up. It's got the distance. And it is good from 42 yards as Jared Kaufman splits the uprights. 48 seconds remaining in the first half. Beach nine, the Blue Devils six. We will be back after these messages. Hello, I'm Megan Davis, a sophomore varsity football cheerleader at Lebanon High School. We're at Piggly Wiggly with Mr. Alan Bain. We would like to say thank you for your support and present to you these Lebanon football souvenirs. Thank you. Piggly Wiggly is proud to support the Lebanon Blue Devil football program. Go Lebanon! Go Devils! Gerard Kaufman, a 42-yard field goal with only 48 seconds left in the half, has given Beach a 9-6 lead against Lebanon. Deep to receive for the Blue Devils will go Joel Griffin. Stafford and C will flank him as Kaufman 
who just connects on a 42 yard field goal to give his team a nine to six lead. And he'll get ready to kick it off. Kaufman ready, a squibbing kick as Carson lets it go. C bobbles it, picks it up at the 20, reverses his field. Beautiful block by Griffin. C still fighting as he gets to the 21 yard line and will get no further. 42 seconds remaining in the first half. And you've got a kicker who can just absolutely whale the football like Kaufman and Beach content to kick the grounders. But uh, what it does, it keeps your return team from setting their regular return and field position. Uh, you're just one yard difference than uh, if you kick it in the end zone. Lebanon takes over at their own 21. 28 seconds remaining in the first half. First and 10. Breeder will turn, tosses it to Stafford, bobbles it to over the 25, out to the 28-yard line as he lost his footing. Pickup of seven on that play. 13 seconds now, 12, and Tommy, that may be the last play of the first half. As five seconds remaining, the Blue Devils won't snap the ball again. That will be the end of the first half as your score, Beach, nine, the Blue Devils, six. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back as the Blue Devil band will be performing in just